A good evening, everyone. Hello. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Luis Enrique. Hi. Good evening, compañero. Good evening, everyone. Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening, Miss. Good evening, Miss. Good evening, guys. How are you? Good evening, Miss. Hi, good evening. Can you hear me, guys? Good yes, evening. Okay, very nice, very nice. Um, so I'm super glad to see you, Mr. Castaneda. Good evening. Glad to see you there. I see Camilo. Thank you so much, guys, for being here and, and joining early. Debra, good evening. Yvette, Luis. Hi, Mr. Cruz. Good evening. How you doing? Mr. Romero, great to see you as well. So as we always said, today is Friday and that's like TGIF. Um, algunas veces, um, no sé si han visto TGIF. Um, this expression, probablemente in memes or phrases or um, in messages, especialmente para este día, so Fridays, les llamamos TGIF. Uh, so that is like, thanks God it's Friday, right? So um, pretty much that's the expression. Había un restaurante, parece, en San Salvador, que se llamaba así. Really? Oh, okay. That's good viernes, for me. Y el viernes era, era el día de las promociones. Ah, es okay. Sobre el paseo, creo. Muy bueno. TJF, oh, I never heard about it, but sounds really, really nice. Exactly, so TJF is like un recordatorio que ya es fin de semana, right? Like, um, weekend is coming, Saturday and Sunday are coming too. Um, I see Javier, good evening, great to see you. Carla, thank you for joining. And uh, let me see, no, I think we're good. All right, guys, so it's super amazing to see you. Uh, espero que su viernes haya estado muy bien. I hope um, you finished all your activities. Uh, ¿Qué tal de tráfico, guys? Are you riding motorcycles? Or did you have any issue? Or todo bien, everything good? No traffic? Do you 
do you drive? Do you ride a motorcycle? Yes, I drive a motorcycle and car. Oh, okay. But so. in Sonsonate City, uh, uh, como se dice, I don't have many traffic. Oh, you are in Sonsonate? Yes, miss. Oh, okay, that's amazing. Guys, <coughs> los demás, are you in San Salvador? Do you live in San Salvador? <laughs> o viven también afuera, like uh, outside the, like, um, how can I call it? It's not like my, uh, um, like the downtown San Salvador. <laughs> so if you're in Puerto Rico, San Salvador, do you live like um, in places? Uh, okay. Okay, Javier, thank you so much. Thank you, Carla. Espero que everything goes smoothly and encuentre tráfico. Gracias por um, sharing this with us as well. No problem. Okay, interesting. Yeah, normalmente en esos cursos tenemos gente like, he tenido estudiantes de la Unión, San Miguel, you know, Santa Ana, like places super far away. And that's a really good point. Um, Yvette, Camilo, what about you boys? Girls, guys, are you from San Salvador or do you live like far away from San Salvador? Viven lejos? San Salvador. San Salvador. Tonsonate. Oh, you live in Sonsonate too. Okay. Y salco Sonsonate. Wow, nice. Okay. From Salco. Good. What is this? I, I think I, I have tasted. Oh, no, that's not Wisal. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, wow. Carla, ¿cuánto se toma en llegar? One hour? Two hours? So you live in Chantuapo, but that's kind of long. That's a really long distance. Um, so Leyman, no se preocupe. Espero so que se preocupe. I hope you feel better. Um, wow. Dos horas. Yes, I imagine. Especialmente eh, el tráfico, el congestionamiento de... Um, like in the way down, uh, the Lourdes, right? So that's really bad. Okay. Ok, well, but guys, los demás están en sus casas. Eh, algunos sí veo que están trabajando. Javi is working. Um, so some are still like going there. Um, ok, well, but espero que haya sido una semana productiva para ustedes. Eh, sin mayores dificultades, hopefully. And, uh, y que puedan descansar también for the, the weekend. Trabaja mañana. Are you working tomorrow? Yes, miss. Okay. Yes. So you're working. Yes, yes. Oh, you're so all of you are working. Okay. Okay. So that's all right. That's but trabajan like all day long or hasta noon. So trabajan solo hasta that yeah. That? Yeah, like, do you work all day long, like from 8 to 4, 8 to 5, or do you work until noon, like 8 to 12? So, ¿qué well, tanto I, I am free on weekend. Oh, are you serious? So, from Monday to yeah. Friday, that's your working schedule? That's right. That's really good. So what are your plans for tomorrow? Go to La Poneca. Ah, oh, very nice. But do you live in San Salvador? No, I live from away. Far, far away to San Salvador, where, teacher. Where do you live? Metapan. Oh, so tomorrow you're like calling on this way to um, a Paneca. Yeah. Wow, with a fun, interesting. Okay, cool. But your schedule is amazing. Having weekends off is is a beauty, right? So it's super, super bueno. You have two days off. Okay, guys, alguien más tiene el día libre? Do you have the day off as well? 
No, miss. Only the boss. No, so only Debra is the lucky one. <laughs> uh, Yvette, are you working tomorrow? Mr. Yes. Romero, you're um, working? Um, ah, okay, until noon. Okay. I know work tomorrow. You're not working. Oh, good. Oh. Only, only. Uh, um, From Monday to Friday. Uh, to Friday, yeah. Okay. What's the plan for tomorrow? Yes. Uh, take a breakfast on uh, my mom. Ah, nice. Okay. Uh, and then sleeping all afternoon. <laughs> no, no. Uh, it's, uh, my wife is is working tomorrow. Oh, okay. Okay. So you cook for her, you prepare, you clean and everything. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Interesting. So only two. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Either way, me too. I have to work. So <laughs> I work on Saturday and Sunday. So yeah. <laughs> Anyways, we got to do it. Already, guys. Um. Now, okay yeah oh, okay okay so until noon right hasta el mediodía but but that is really nice so i'm gonna write it let's voy a escribir acá eh, para decir hasta utilizamos la palabra until right um y podemos decir until 12 or la más como sería until noon de mediodía so until 12 until um noon until one until two etc so para decir como hasta que horas right uh, for example tomorrow i work from 1 p.m until 6 p.m so eso es como la hora final so until right Alrighty, guys uh, to get started today vamos a revisar eh, un par de cosas que tenemos eh, regarding descriptions um, we are going to work a little bit um, con algo que se llama passive voice. Solamente vamos a revisar little pieces of things. Um, les pedí el día de ayer también eh, practicar los cinco verbos. Hopefully, eh, hayamos avanzado ya con algunos de ellos. Um, con uno, dos, tres que, que se hayan aprendido super bien, guys. Eh, ya vamos avanzando y de eso se trata, right? Um, I'm going to be sending, les voy a estar compartiendo eh, algunas actividades para que las vayan haciendo tú, eh, las que voy a trabajar el fin de semana para mandárselas durante la semana. Eh, now. Oh, hi, Miss. Uh, I had a question. What is the meaning yes. of regarding? Uh, regarding es como con respecto a cuando hablamos de un tema que está relacionado o de uh, you can hear the expression related to, so related to, regarding, um, es en relación a un tema. And that's the word. So let me just write it down. So that's. Teacher, and, 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 and I have other, other, bueno, it's, uh, mm -hmm. I, I'm going to ask you something. Could mm -hmm. you uh, turn out the, the slide before or after the class? Uh, this slide. All of the, the slide that you. Uh... Um, I am not uh, permitted like to send the slides. Um, oh, really? Yeah. I, I ask you about because uh, the other uh, teacher sent us the, the slide. Oh, yeah. Well, as far as I know, I'm not permitted to. <laughs> Uh, however, you are free to to take pictures, you know, like to um, like copy paste them in a Word document and or whatever whatever you are taking notes as well. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, we are not permitted to <laughs> because of copyrights, you know. Yeah, but but let me ask. They have a consult and and if I am allowed to, I I will be happy to to help you with that, no problem. So let me just um, ask the person who created them. Um, now give me just a second. Okay. 
Hold on, just let me check something here really quick. Okay, so let me just check that. All right, guys. Um, well, now today we are going to uh, start checking um, this topic that we normally use uh, when we are trying to give definitions. Um, something that we normally call passive voice, it is going to be new. Se los adelanto para que no se sientan muy ofuscados, you know, like, oh my God, ¿qué es esto? What's going on? Um, el tema es um, like intermediate, advanced, sin embargo, uh, we are going to use it porque es bastante práctico to be used. Vamos a revisar también simple present. Vamos a hacer un pequeño like, um, Recordatorio de lo que ustedes ya revisaron in the previous modules and uh, y vamos a estar revisando eh, también estos verbos en pasado y vamos a trabajar con la lista de verbos o so please eh, tengan a la mano have it handy because eh, vamos a trabajar un poquitito con los que se llaman past participles that is um, column number three la tercera columna of the material or the verbs that you have as well. So um, to get started, guys, uh, para ya empezar con el tema and start working on this, I have a little, okay, I have a very, very short activity. Quick question, uh, son buenos memorizando? Are you good at memorizing? Recuerdo que ayer alguno, alguien mencionó, like, I am not good at memorizing, but, ¿Qué tan muy buen, um, qué tan, me, like, how good are you at memorizing things? Memorizan rápido, do you memorize things fast? Mm. Or not really? So, so, teacher. So, so, okay. Yeah. Okay, so I have the following activity here. Give me one second, solamente voy a, Cronometrarla. I'm going to time it. Um, les voy a mostrar una picture. I'm going to show you a picture. Hay muchos objetos. There are a lot of objects. But vamos a hacerlo limpiamente, guys. That means, no le tomen captura. Don't take a screenshot. No los escriban. Don't write them down. Solamente look at the picture. Intente recordar cómo decirlo en inglés. Try to remember how to say that in English. Si es un objeto nuevo. Um, you can remember that in Spanish y luego lo buscan eh, como decirlo, right? What is the name for that? No problem with that. But please, no le tomen a uh, captura. Don't take a, a picture because la idea es recordarse. Like, try to remember the objects. Eh, tenemos 30 segundos. You'll have only 30 seconds um, to memorize as many as you can. So, let me get started with this. Se los voy a mostrar, guys. 30 segundos. When time is over, ya no van a ver la picture. You won't see the picture again. Um, so, no le van a tomar captura, no lo van a notar. Solo look at it. Intenten recordarse. So, let's try to use your memory. Give me one sec. Okay, there you go. So, 30 seconds. Okay, guys, time is over. So, okay, give me one second. Hold on. Oh my God, what's going on? Okay, much better. Okay, guys, so I'll give you two minutes. Les voy a dar un par de minutitos. I'll give you two minutes. Para que ahora sí escriban so you can write down what you remember. So you can take notes, uh, you can check, take a look at your notebook, check the words, check how to say them in English, right? 
um by the way two four five two four so 20 you will have to make a list of 20 and uh, veamos cuántas logran hacer let's take a look how many you can make all right guys dos minutos you got two minutes One more minute. All right, guys, I'll give you some seconds um, so you can finish making your list and then we double check. Teacher Bright in the chat. Um, no. It's not necessary, it's not okay. necessary because I want to listen to your voices. But if you feel more comfortable um, in the chat, no problem, that's okay. Give me one second, okay. Oh, okay, no worries, Carla, that's okay. All right, guys, so in the chat, I see that Carla has, has made a list. She has cake, umbrella, bicycle, a nine, ah, number nine, cue, mm, okay. 
boil in hand. All right, guys. So tell us, what do you have? Teacher, yes. I remember an airplane, coffee, a bicycle, okay. um, a cake, a dog, a ham, okay. apple, a beer, a tree, oh. umbrella, and a house too, and the letter K, and the number nine. And I don't know, um, I saw like a sombrerito de, de fiesta, pero no sé cómo se llama. Okay. <laughs> Actually, it's very similar. So we like only a say a birthday. No sé. uh, what is an ah. espanta suegra? Ah, no. le falta suegra el que se, se sopla. Ah, o sea, I, 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 I thought it was a, oh. a espanta suegra, pero creo que es un... <laughs> Un sombrero, huh? Gorrito yeah, de it's fiesta. A hat. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's a, well, normally uh, we can make it like birthday hat. Mm -hmm, so oh, okay. it's a birthday yeah, hat. Okay. okay. Wow, a new word. So, no sabía que era una espantasuegra. That's new for me. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. What else, guys? No, it's all right. That's cool. All right. De las palabras nuevas, like new words, o de los que ya dijeron los compañeros, ¿qué más do you have? What else do you have, guys? Umbrella. Beer. Okay. So, we have an umbrella. Peanut, beer, and uh, uh, coffee. Co okay. Coffee. Coffee. Okay. Uh -huh. Coffee. And la Coca Cola, la latte, ¿cómo se dice? La ah, coca. actually, it's can. C A N. A can of soda. Uh huh. Can. Mm -hmm. And uh, hands. Okay. So hands. Uh -huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Car. A car. Okay. So yeah, there House. was a car. Um, House. Dough. Dog. Dog, okay. Uh, peel. Peel. Pera, pera, uh, pera. Per. Okay, so pera. a per. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh -huh. Ball, number, number nine. Uh, uh, Q, okay. plane, um, bicycle. Okay. The bicycle, all right. Um, eh, no sé si me acuerdo, creo que era como hacha la que había. Ah, okay. Algo así, ¿verdad? Ok, Ajá. yes. Eso sí no sé cómo se, cómo se, se pronuncia. Ok, ¿Qué? no worries, no worries. Uh, ya le vamos a preguntar a los compañeros. Tal vez alguien ah. lo tiene. Ok, very nice. That's a really good list. It's a really good one. Guys, eh, how do you say hacha? No sé cómo se pronuncia. X. Ok. Ok. Ya. Yeah. Or spell it. Spell it for us. Deletréalo para nosotros. Spell it for us. A. X. I. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's the one. So, yeah. Es como el desodorante. Right? We can call it X. Exactamente X. como el, des, el desodorante. Mm -hmm. And sometimes lo vamos a ver como AX. And sometimes A X E. Very good. Okay, very nice. So let me just show the pictures one more time. Um, so we can compare y veamos si tenemos like new words or something that we have. A piano. Excellent. Okay, look at this. ¿Qué nos hizo falta? What did we miss? Había algunas que no las escuché. What did we miss? ¿Qué nos hizo falta, guys? Molar. <laughs> el okay. diente. How do you say diente in English? The bear. Uh, tooth. Tooth. Very good. So tooth. Um, Bird. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Piano. Piano. Yes. Mencionaron un espantasuera. ¿Dónde está eso? Um, no, I no. didn't mention no. Yeah, el birthday hat. El gorrito de fiesta. Yes. Okay. Um, ¿Qué más nos hizo falta? Uh, the gay. The, which, oh, no. which one? I'm sorry. A tree. Perdón, eso no a tree. Okay. A tree too. Very nice. There we go. But I think we got the most important. So we got puedo, most puedo, of them. Puedo contar un chiste, miss. Uh, no es ofensivo, no, no, no. <laughs> no es largo, no, no. es... Okay, go ahead. 
de la ah, but in English, no, but we want it no, in English. No, no, no lo puedo decir. <risa> es que usted le cambió el fondo a, 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 a su eh, imagen. Y yes. yo miraba un puente y asocié que el puente estaba dentro de la puente. Por eso lo mencionaba, ya decía, nadie lo mencionó. Estaba o sea, hace un momento de... tenía el puente de San Francisco. ¿El puente estaba dentro de...? No, no estaba. Hoy veo que hay un avión. Bueno. Ah, no, 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 guys. Ustedes le pueden cambiar el fondo. Yo no, change correcto. The... Sí, sí, sí. Ajá. Yo había visto el puente y pensé que era parte de la imagen. Okay. Ah, okay. ah, ok. Got it. No. <laughs> No, no, no. Uh, that, that was not. That was not. The bridge was not. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I was like, uh, okay. Vamos que tipo de chistes cuenta Mr. Castaneda. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, guys. So, vamos a revisar un par de estos objetos uh, that probably are kind of new. Si se recuerdan, el día de ayer veíamos algunas expresiones que son seguidas del ING. Um, ¿qué, ¿Qué expresiones recuerdan? We were checking, for example, eh, soy bueno haciendo algo. I am good at. Uh, ¿Qué más recuerdan? What do you remember? So, I am good at. I am not good at. I am in church. I am in church of, like, estoy a I cargo de algo. I am responsible. responsible for, yes. I am my friend. I am afraid, me da miedo hacer algo. Exactly. And decíamos que después de estas expresiones, eh, si es una actividad, si es un verbo, we use ing. I am in charge of going. I am in charge of reading. I am in charge of sending. So, vamos a hacer algo bastante similar today, but vamos a cambiarlo un poquito. Vamos a hablar del uso de algunos de estos objetos. For example, Let's take a look. Um, we are going to use, for example, the umbrella. So the umbrella, oops, sorry. Wait, I'm writing another letter. Okay, so the umbrella, uh, the axe. You can write it here like this, or you can write it like this, it's okay. So the axe, uh, we can use the birth, they um we can uh, say hat we can use let me see what other objects we have okay we have the airplane so the airplane what else what else the i think oh we have the ball so the ball all right so we have these objects Y vamos a buscarles a uh, uso, right? For example, the umbrella. ¿Cuándo utilizamos the umbrella? The umbrella is used for... ¿Para qué se usa, guys? When it's raining. Ah, very good. So the umbrella is used for rainy days. When it is rainy. There we go. Exactly. We have the X. Voy a solamente copiar esto. So the X is used. Um, si queremos solamente decir, por ejemplo, para cortar, vamos a hacer lo mismo de ayer. Vamos a agregarle al verbo eh, ing. So the axe is used for cutting, for example, right? Um, if I want to say the umbrella is used, se usa para protegerse. So mm -hmm. I can use covered. Wait. For example, I can use covered cover here. Pero le vamos a agregar ING. So, the umbrella is used for covering your body or covering your head, right? So, we are going to use ING right there. Si no podemos armar oraciones the, the same way, como lo acaban de hacer. The birthday hat. Wait, this is capital. So, the birthday hat is used for it. The airplane is used for it. And the ball is used for Forward. Okay, guys. So we have uh, five sentences. Están bastante fáciles, but let's try to put together. Intentemos uh, explicar para qué se usan, right? So, um, ya la compañera nos dio un ejemplo. The umbrella is used for when it is raining. But como tenemos for, 
necesitamos agregarle eh, por lo general un verbo. O si no, le quitamos el for. Se los voy a dejar entre paréntesis. I'm going to leave it between parentheses para que ustedes decidan si quitárselo o dejarlo ahí, right? Um, ambos se pueden. So the umbrella is used when it is raining or the umbrella is used for rainy days, for example. So, one sec. I'm just going to... Yes. Excuse me. Uh, Madera in English is wood? Wood. Mm -hmm. That's right. Oh, okay. W-O-O-D. That's wood. Already, guys. I'll give you a couple of minutes. Intentemos dar una explicación when to use it. Si tienen dudas, let me know. And se los voy a copiar en el chat. I'm going to copy um, and paste it here. En caso ustedes quieran escribirlo en el chat, write your or type your sentences. Or you can do it in your notebook. Whatever works for you. So I'll give you a couple of minutes. If you have questions, doubts, or get a copy of algo, let me know, guys. So, Lupita? Eh, eh, puedo decir eh, the birthday hat is used in the party? Mm -hmm, yes, yes, of course. So, it is used in parties. Mm -hmm. That's right. And the airplay is used for travel? Traveling. Oh, Traveling. Can you Traveling. can you say that again? Volar. Uh, the airplane is used for travel. travel. Oh yes, traveling exactly. So the airplane is used for traveling. That is right. Okay. Or like the uh, airplane se usa para moverse. It is used for moving to different moving. places. The car is used for transport. Ah, very good. That's a good one. Okay. The car is used for transport. Okay.
Already, guys. So give us some examples. Tell us. Eh, um, open your microphone, please. Y cuéntenos qué tienen. Tell us what you have. What examples or what definitions han logrado hacer so far? Sir Lupita ya nos compartía que the airplane is used for traveling or moving to, um, to places. Carla says the car is used for transport, which is okay. Didn't mask guys, do you have more? Teacher, maybe yes. it sounds weird, but the say act, it. how do you say, how do you pronounce is the, el hacha? The axe. Okay. The axe is used for prote protecting yourself. <laughs> wait, wait, what? <laughs> um, for protecting of yourself. Uh, uh Um. Okay. <laughs> I would say maybe in case of emergencies. <laughs> yes. But okay. I I guess that that's what you mean, right? Creo que eso se refería like there is yeah, an that's emergency. That's the idea. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. But well, it's all right. So the axe is used for protecting yourself. Yes. Uh, the axe mm -hmm. is used for cutting, cutting wood. Cutting. Yes, very good. Yes, so the axe is used for cutting wood. Very nice. The coffee is used uh, for, let me just take a look at the chat. I see more examples there. The axe is used, um, okay. To cut wood. Oh, okay. It works. The coffee is used for wake up. Okay. Um, nice, Carla, solo que en ese caso, como tenemos la palabra for, away, le vamos a agregar ing, so for waking, cuando usamos for, la siguiente palabra, si es un verbo, debe de ir en ing, very nice, lo demás está super, super good, the bicycle is used for transport, okay, sounds good, eh, solamente revísenme el spelling, please, creo que me le falta una y, you're missing a y. The airplane is used uh, to fly, is used to fly. That would be for flying. So the airplane is used for flying. Se usa para volar, right, for flying. The ball is used uh, for playing. All right, Van, a nice job. Uh, solamente le quitamos tú al segundo ejemplo, the ball is used, creo que me le faltó el is, is used, for playing, se usa para jugar. Is used for playing. Uh, les comentaba ayer, intenten no traducirlo porque se van a dar una enchibulada. So, just remember. Al igual que el día de ayer, um, que usábamos in charge of, responsible for, afraid of. Hay algunas palabras que requieren ing. So, estos son ejemplos de ellas. So, for playing, for flying. Uh, but nice, nice job. The ball is used uh, for playing on the street. Okay, very nice job, Luis. So le sí. quitamos el tú. We are eliminating okay. two. The tree is used for providing shading and wood. Very nice. Very good job, Manuel. Le vamos a agregar ING a provide. For providing. But good job. The airplane is used to go on vacation. Okay, sounds okay. Is used to go on vacation. The airplane is used to go on vacation. In other words, the umbrella, uh, okay, is used. It must fact, it is Eric. Hi, Eric, by the way, uh, for protect. Okay, le agregamos el ING también. For, for protecting from the rain. Very nice. Uh, y le quitamos la H. Uh, umbrella, Eric, please. So, quitemos el H y agregamos el is. The umbrella is used. The umbrella is used for covering, okay. Very nice, Iber. Solo uh, le, le agregamos ING siempre, is used for covering. I use mm -hmm. my dog to go for a walk. Okay. <laughs> eh, Jose Eduardo, I use my dog to go for the walk. It's like, it's uh -huh. como una excusa. I don't know. So you tell us. Cuéntenos. No. 
No, no es una excusa. It, it isn't an excuse. No. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so usamos I use algo, you know, o se usa eh, para hablar como el, del propósito, el uso que le damos, right? Eh, creo que la podemos elaborar un poquito más eh, porque de esta forma está bien, it's okay, solo que sonaría como una excusa, like yo uso esto, I use that. The trees use eh, for providing shade and wood. Okay, very good job, nice. Wow, I'm super glad. So, cuando vemos la expresión for it, y luego utilizamos un verbo, al igual que Manuel lo ha escrito al, al final, utilizamos el ing con ese verbo. The tree is used for providing, for moving, for traveling, for going, etc. That's the way it works. Preguntas, guys, questions, doubts. Uh, ya lo vamos a practicar con otros verbos, pero quiero que le pongan mucha atención a esta combinación de is más use, porque estamos utilizando dos verbos, lo cual no es común. So, vamos a revisar el siguiente ejercicio. We're going to check the next exercise in your material. Eh, vamos a abrir el PDF, guys. Go over your manual. Y vamos a la página number 15. Let's take a look at page number 15. And here we have more examples, precisamente del uso de esto, like this use, this structure, cómo utilizarlo, how to use it. And um, you can open it up. And here, involve, ya las tienen seleccionadas, you already have them underlined. And we are going to do the following. Guys, quick question. ¿Tienen a la mano eh, la lista de verbos? Sí. Kind of. Ok. So, vamos a hacer first, vamos a intentar reconocerlos. Um, algunos de estos verbos están fáciles, but solamente vamos a intentar encontrar relación. We're going to find the relationship. Uh, first, Let's start with the word that we have right here that is known. Guys, ¿a qué verbo se parece? What, what is it similar to? ¿Alguna idea? Estoy segura que lo conocen. I'm pretty sure you know. You are familiar with this. What is the meaning of no? ¿En alguna idea? ¿Cuál es el verbo? What does it mean? Is it right to know? No. Yes, exactly. Es lo mismo que no. Yeah, very nice. So, give me one sec. Solamente vamos a buscar the list. Okay, in your list of verbs, you don't have it. Lo vamos a agregar más adelante. We're going to include it later. Pero exacto, es el mismo que no. Now, um, we're going to check it later. Porque si se fijan, tenemos combinación de dos verbos. Es no en is recognized, is rated. So, ya vamos a ver por qué utilizarlos or when to use them. First, let's take a look here super quick. Uh, we have this conversation, guys, and it says, listen and try to practice the conversation. Let me read it for you. Y luego practicamos. Then we just uh, practice for a brief moment. So it says, um, the, we have Daniel and we have Jessica. Daniel starts. So Jessica, what does your company do? At Rex, we provide, I'm sorry, we produce clothes for kids. I see. And what is Rex known for? Rex is known for the modern designs and the quality of the clothes we make. Great. 
And are you happy to work for Rex? Absolutely. Rex is recognized as a very prestigious company. Their personnel is important for them. Congratulations, Jessica, you're right. Rex is rated as one of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. I'm sorry, olvidado mis glasses, I can't read. Okay, but there we go. So let's take a look at some of these words. First guys, lean conmigo, please read with me. Designs. Designs. Is known. Is, is known. Non. Non. It's non. It's non. It's non. There we go. It's recognized. It's recognized. It's recognized. Mm -hmm. Is rated. Is rated. Remember lo que decíamos estos días, vamos a escribirle por acá. Rated es la pronunciación más común, sin embargo, la R, la T, perdón, se cambió por R. Entonces, a veces suena como rated, 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 rated. So, is rated as, is rated as. Ambas están bien, both are good. Eh, intenten practicar la que les cueste menos, right? La que les suene mejor for you. Um, and guys, una palabra súper importante, a very important word que vamos a practicar es este sonido. Lo voy a escribir en letra mayúscula. Okay, there we go. Sir, please repeat with me. As. And um, intenten que les vibre un poco. As. 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 Cierren un poco. As. as, as, un, as cierren los as, labios un poco. Close your lips. As, your lips a little bit. As. 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 as, as, as. Tiene que vibrar. As. 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 Okay, okay. As, as. Okay, first, first, let's do this. Hagamos el sonido de la abeja, guys. As. Intenten solo as. vibrar los labios. As. Si quieren, pueden apagar el micrófono y hacerlos. Si les da pena. Or open the mic. I'm okay. As. So, as. Intenten con sonidos cortos primeros. As. 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 Okay, you're getting close. You're getting um, close. As. And pueden exagerarlo a little bit porque no tenemos el sonido en español. We don't have it. So, eh, obligamos un poquito a que nuestro cerebro produzca el sonido. As. So, over here, eh, tenemos as. And it says, Absolutely, Rex is recognized as a very prestigious company, as. Y luego lo tenemos abajo. Rex is rated as one, as one. So, ¿qué vamos a hacer? As one. So, una forma fácil de reproducir el sonido es as one, like this, I think. So, as one, as one, as one. Guys, repeat with me, as one. No. Jorge, ya casi, ready? As one, okay. So, practice it, practice it, practice it. Hasta que le salga bonito, right? Or that you say, oh, I like the way it sounds. So one more time. Vamos a revisar esta conversación. Eh, first, ven vocabulario nuevo. Do you see new vocabulary? Uh, pronunciation is uh, word clothes. 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 So, al final termina, eh, sacan un poco la lengua para Luz. que la Z salga. Close. Yes, close. Anybody else? 
and mm -hmm. absolute, absolutely. Oh, very good. Yes. So it's ab so lutely. Absolutely. 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 Mm -hmm. Exactly. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, podemos hacer como un, un corte. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes. ¿Qué me dijo teacher? Who's the teacher? Uh, yo, teacher. Uh, Hi, Eric. Uh, prestigious. Prestigious. Or... Prestigious. Oh. Is that correct? Yes, prestigious. Gracias. That's a really good one. Prestigious. Okay. Okay, very good, guys. So let's practice this. Probably you will say, oh, está fácil la conversación. Yeah, it's really easy. So, ¿cuál va a ser el enfoque o el objetivo de practicarla, guys? First, que podamos leer, that we can read, que nos escuchamos y nos entendemos. And of course, vamos practicando pronunciación. And we are practicing pronunciation too. So la conversación está bastante sencilla, no está larga, because para que la podamos decir lo mejor que podamos, the best way we can. So one more time. We have known, we have designs, clothes, clothes, y ahí está sonido. At the end, recognized as prestigious, and absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. All right, guys. So let's start practicing. Solamente vamos a practicarla. Uh, please remember, is, is el objetivo is just pronunciation. Yes. Uh, is uh, is Raiden? Es la última. Is Raiden has. Mm. Yes, we can, eh, hay dos pronunciaciones para esa. You can say rated, así como está acá, rated, or cambia la T por una R, rated. It's rated, rated. it's rated. rated. Mm -hmm. Ambas rated. están bien, both are good. Yes. Rated. Ra uh, exactly, rated or rated. So okay. both are good. Thank okay, you. Okay, guys, you're welcome. Let's go over this. Give me one sec. Um, so if the time is over and si ya terminan antes, you know, if you finish faster and todavía tienen tiempo en el grupo, aprovechemos ese tiempo, guys, para revisar pronunciation, las expresiones, intenten no irlas traduciendo, but hay muchas expresiones acá que son bien bonitas. For example, you're right. En español tenemos, decimos, tienes la razón. Y lo traducimos como, you have the reason, but no. Intentemos cambiarlas por, ah, oh, you're right, absolutely. Agreguémosla también, eh, estas expresiones a nuestro vocabulario, right? So, guys, tenemos cinco minutos. We got five minutes. Let's go to the groups, please. Eh, les voy a compartir siempre pantalla para que no tengan o sea, que compartirla. And uh, there you go. Let's go.
All right, guys, sir. Thank you so much for coming back, Jeff. Casi regresan los demás también. ¿Cómo les fue la práctica? How was your practice, guys? ¿Les costó un poco? Was it difficult? Uh, miss, what yes. do you say? Uh, clothes, clothes, o clothes. Clothes. O los chiques, o con... <laughs> clothes. Uh, no. Um, clothes. Actually, el sonido es más corto. Clothes. clothes. Como, así como lo puso, clothes con Z. Mm, algo así, pero el sonido de Z... Eh, como si usted hablara español de España, you know, so, con mm -hmm. el acento de mm -hmm. so close, close. Mm -hmm. Solo que um, eh, hay una breve, una pequeñísima diferencia en el sonido, entonces suena como close y solo suena como el aire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the one. So, it's good, yes. That's the one. Okay, everybody's back. Alrighty, guys. Can I have please two volunteers who wants to read so we can have Daniel and Jessica? Volunteer. I don't want to have bacon. So, <laughs> who wants to volunteer? Me, teacher. Perfect. So, thank you, Mr. Castaneda. Help us with Daniel. And um, Luis, selecciona a su compañero o compañera. Select your partner, please. Ah, uh, ok. Ta, 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 El que no me está viendo ahorita. <risa> El de la cámara apagada, please. Sí, de la cámara de Manuel, entonces. <risa> <risa> ok, so the one with the camera off. Ok, Manuel, uh, so help us, please. Help us with Jessica. The okay. part for Jess. Okay. So, Jessica, what does your company do? That's uh, right. We produce clothes for kids. I see. And what is REST known for? REST is known for the modern design and the quality of the clothes we make. Uh, great. And are you happy to work for REST? Absolutely. REST is reconciled as a very prestigious company. The personal is important for them. Congratulations, Manuel. You are right, Rex is rated as one of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Hi. Very nice. Good job, guys. I'm gonna give you an emoji, wait. So, creo que viene emoji de pizza. <laughs> okay, very nice job. Muy buena entonación. Eh, me gustó mucho, like, el sonido. Eh, la entonación que le pusieron. Very good job with that. And um, cuando llegó a las preguntas, muy buena forma de entonar, you know, las preguntas. So, there you have a pizza slice. <laughs> good job, guys. Very nice. Okay. Um, so, so, we want we a have... pizza. <laughs> yes, uh, just with the word recognize, uh, that's probably quizás la única que, que, que podemos mejorar, right? But the rest guys, very nice job with that. So we have recognize, recognize, but nice, good, good, good. Okay, can I have two more people, please? Be, uh, volunteers, who, who else wants to read? In que practicar, guys, who wants to read? Okay, so I'm going to select. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Wait, ¿por qué no me está marcando? Hold on. So, I'm sorry. ¿Qué me dijo mi teacher? I couldn't... Porque no, confund... estoy confundiendo Lupita, la voz Miss. de Lupita con la voz de Deborah. <laughs> And I don't know why. <laughs> okay, so Lupita, help us with Daniel. And Griselda, hi, good evening. Griselda, casi no he escuchado su voz. Are you working? ¿Está trabajando? Are you working? Eh, no, teacher. Ah, ok, perfect. So, si nos puede ayudar con la parte de Jessica, that would be nice, please. Yes. Ok. So, Jessica, what does your company do? At Rex, we produce clothes for kids. I see. And what is Rex now for? Rex 
is known for the model designs and quality of the clothes we make. Great. And are you happy to work for Rex? Absolutely. Rex is her clothes a very prestigious company. The your personal important for them. Congratulations, Jessica. You're right. Rex is rated as one of the 10 most prestigious companies in the Salvador. And I think that's it, right? Okay, thank you, guys. Thank you so much for that very nice job as well. So, bastante claro, very clear. I'm sorry. So very clear on that. And uh, it sounds actually very nice. Muy buena entonación as well. So let's take a look at this one. Tenemos esta, esta expresión que dice, what is Rex known for? Rex is known for the mother design. So if you pay attention here, estamos utilizando el verbo be. Y el segundo verbo, like know, hemos cambiado un poquito. A eso le conocemos como passive voice o voz pasiva. No vamos a entrar tanto en detalle con cuestiones gramaticales porque es amplio y lo van a ver por ahí cuando lleguen a intermedio se van a dar gusto, you know, with all of these names. Pero por el momento vamos a entrar, solamente vamos a revisar basic patterns. ¿Cuándo utilizo voz pasiva? Well, para dar explicaciones. Por ejemplo, Rex is known. Quiero decir que a Rex se le conoce cuando decíamos, por ejemplo, el carro se usa, the car is used, o eh, el avión eh, se usa para moverse o para viajar, para, you know, hacer, ir de un país a otro. So the airplane is used for traveling or to move to different countries. Entonces, esta estructura la vamos a utilizar para dar información adicional. ¿Cómo lo voy a utilizar? Well, les comentaba que en su lista de verbos ustedes tienen base form o infinitive. En la segunda columna están pasados, pero esto no es pasado, guys. Esto es lo que le llamamos pasado participa. Ahorita lo revisamos. Now, it says here, Rex is recognized. Se le reconoce o es conocido por, right? Or uh, Rex is rated as one of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. So, ¿cómo vamos a armar las oraciones? Bien fácil. El verbo to be siempre va a estar ahí. Y para eso vamos a agregar el pasado participio del verbo. Now, um, en su material, in your material, in the page 16, tienen la descripción de esto. Again. No vamos a entrar en detalles gramaticales súper complejos porque no es el objetivo, sino que ustedes lo sepan utilizar y that's it, right? So, take a look at this. Vamos a revisar un par de verbos primero. We're going to check part of the verbs. And uh, vamos a usar de los verbos más comunes here as well. So, ¿cuáles son los verbos más comunes? We have used. El pasado es used. Y el pasado participio es used. We have no. El pasado, guys, is... ¿Alguien me ayuda con el pasado? Can you spell this for me? No está en la lista de verbos. So, si alguien se lo sabe, lo puede buscar. You can check it. What is the past of no? New. New. Very good. So, we have new. ¿Y cuál es el participio? ¿Cuál es la tercera forma? La que tienen en la conversación. Que no. es... O, W, y le agregamos una N. Non, exactly. Now, tengo, por ejemplo, el verbo eh, say. What is the meaning of say? What is the meaning? What is say? ¿Qué significa say, guys? What is this? Decir. decir, decir, cuando comunicamos yeah. algo. Ok, now, este verbo cambia. So, can you help me please? ¿Alguien me ayuda? ¿Cuál es el pasado? What is the past of say? No say. les pido que se, ya lo sepan, right? Sino que lo busquemos. Use the resources. Say. 
Can you spell it? Alguien lo deletrea? Can you spell that for me? S A I D. Very good. Sed es el pasado. Say, sed, pero me falta el tercero. ¿Cuál es el eh. participio? El mismo. S A I D. Exactly the same. So I have use, 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 no, new, non, say, sed. Sed, como cuando tienen sed, right? That's the one. I have, for example, uh, let me see. Let me see, let me see. Vamos a agregar un par de verbos más que están bien fáciles. We have, for example, watch. Um, later, cuando entremos en pasado, van a ver que algunos verbos le agregamos solo ed para indicar que es pasado. Y cuando esto pasa, el pasado participio, los dos son exactamente iguales. So watch, watched es el pasado, and watched es el pasado participio. No cambian. They are exactly the same. So, let's take a look at this one. ¿Cómo voy a utilizar entonces esto? Well, bien fácil, very easy. Primero digo de qué estoy hablando, lo que conocemos como subject. Right? De qué, qué objeto, qué empresa, qué persona, eh, qué estoy describiendo. Then, vamos a agregar el verbo to be. Um, am, is, are. Y luego agrego este verbo. Then I need to add this verb. Pero el verbo ya ha cambiado, ya ha modificado. Right? So, acá sí voy a utilizar tu verb. Por ejemplo, esto es bien común cuando contamos noticias. Um, gossips. ¿Saben el significado de gossip? Do you know the meaning of gossip? Okay, so gossip guys eh, son como lo que llamamos uh, chambres, you know, de oficina. No queremos decir el nombre de la persona, right? So decimos, ah, me dijeron, right? O le dijo, pero no decimos el nombre. Entonces, passive boy se usa para eso. No digo quién lo dijo, sino qué pasó, right? For example, take a look here. Um, I want to use with use. And uh, let's talk about, guys, díganme el nombre de una marca o algo que hayan comprado que no es muy común. For example, Alibaba. No sé si alguna vez han comprado algo en Alibaba. So, Alibaba. And I can say Alibaba is used. ¿Quién utiliza Alibaba, guys? So Alibaba is used. And we can come up with some ideas. We have known, known, no, known. El Salvador, so nuestro país, is known. Guys, ¿por qué somos conocidos? To the beaches. El Salvador is known because of the beaches. El Salvador is known, y le podemos agregar as. Pupusas. El Salvador is, ah, is known eh, because of the pupusas. Mm -hmm. El Salvador is known as. Cuando le agregamos as, estamos diciendo como, right? El Salvador is known because of the people. As a dangerous country, maybe not. So, siempre que queramos decir más información, we can add these verbs. Y claro, los podemos modificar here. Si voy a contar información y no quiero decir el nombre de la persona, solo dicen que, right? We use it is said. Se dice, se cuenta, right? Dicen que, but no decimos quién. Por ejemplo, dicen que ya están poniendo multas. So, it is said that you need to pay a lot of money in tickets. Um, it is said, y podemos agregarle el dato. So, ¿Qué es lo que se dice? ¿Qué es lo que se cuenta? Right? Um, and we can, of course, use watched. So, let me see. Guys, ¿hay algún programa que ahorita sea muy visto, que la gente lo vea mucho? Mm. I don't watch TV. Do you watch TV? Something. 
do you have any TV program or or series that you watch? Uh, in the watches, uh, Netflix. Okay, we can use that. Oh, they use it. So Netflix, still so exists there, right? Mm, yeah. Okay. I am. Oh, I don't know, the, guys. The shopping and the and uh, I come say my stuff. And uh, shape. Yo no quiero dejar descendencia. Shape. Vale, creo que dejó el micrófono abierto. Shane de. De ropa. Okay. Shane. Por eso le decía de buy. O de shopping. De shopping okay. and the shape. Shane. Teacher, maybe buy, buy clothes. By chain, chain is, mm -hmm. a, yes. is a website when when you can buy clothes and shoes and bikinis. Mm -hmm. Okay. Have you ever used it? Um, the website no, but I know the brand. So uh, you know but, about the brand, yeah. And the is there a website too? Yes, had an app too. Oh, maybe, okay. Maybe Amazon. Okay, yeah, we can use those. Okay. We can use those, definitely, yes. Okay, so, oh, but I put it in the wrong place. Okay, just, I'm going to move it here. Wait. Because I think that they are very similar to Alibaba, so Alibaba.com too. So we have Alibaba, Shane, Amazon, and we have Easy Juiced. Okay, so it is said that and Nick, uh, but talking about like TV, um, so we can use watched, watch, but a lot of people, okay. So people, guys, los que les gusta mucho la televisión, we can think about a program que muchas personas lo estén viendo, lo hayan visto, you know, lo vean, et cetera. So take a look at this one. Here we have a couple of ideas donde ya solamente es para completarlo. Uh, we have, for example, uh, Alibaba, Shein, or Amazon is used. ¿Para qué se utilizan? ¿Quiénes lo utilizan? ¿Dónde lo utilizan? Right? So podemos completarlo with any information you have. El Salvador is known. Uh, si utilizamos El Salvador is known y quieren decir por qué, remember that para respuestas yo voy a utilizar because, because of, El Salvador is known because of eh, pupusas. El Salvador es conocido por las playas. El Salvador is known because of the beaches. So it's because of, normalmente es para dar una razón, right? It is said that, cuando queremos contar información, noticias, y no queremos decir quién lo ha dicho, solamente decimos it is said that. Se dice que, right? It is said that, guys, I'm muy mala con las noticias because I don't watch TV. I don't watch the news. But I want to say, for example, se dice que mega, um, el grupo Megavision va a desaparecer. It is said that Megavision will disappear. Or Megavision doesn't exist. So we can, you know, come up with some ideas. Guys, I'll give you five minutes. Les voy a dar un par de minutitos para que puedan crear los suyos. Um, initially, podemos utilizar estos ejemplos solamente. We can use only these. Eh, claro, si quieren utilizar otros verbos, no hay ningún problema. Just let me know y lo armamos juntos. Eh, perdón, Carla, vi su mano. I don't know if you have a question. No, teacher. Okay, so questions, doubts, guys, let me know. As I mentioned before, este tema lo ven muy eh, a detalle en intermedio, but, you know, it's important to, eh, que lo revisemos también y que tengamos una idea de para que lo utilizamos. So, guys, I'll give you five minutes and uh, write your sentences, intenten completarlas, you can modify them. En la primera pueden cambiarlo, you can modify all of it. Uh, for example, it says Alibaba. Um, so Ali, Alibaba is used. Um, 
in China, for example, or chain is used uh, to buy clothes or for buying clothes, for buying girls. No sé si chain es para mujeres o también es para hombres. It's only for women, right? No, teacher, it's both of them. Both? Um, is it only for clothes? Or can you buy shoes? Can you buy um, bracelets? Many can things, you buy... teacher. Okay. If, if, you, if you check it, you're going to be crazy looking many things. That's the problem, that I don't want to spend money. <laughs> oh, but interesting. Okay. Okay, so Shane is used for men and women, by men and women, um, and you can buy clothes. So we can make sentences, right? Five minutes, guys, make your sentences.
Let me know when you finish, guys. All right, Jorge, very nice job. That's a really good example. Sweden is known for a rich history and culture. Alibaba is used for buying. Okay, yeah, that's good. Really good. Okay, so El Salvador is known for the pupusas. Yeah, you're right. Guys, hay más cosas por las que El Salvador es reconocido. So, it is known for pupusas. It is known for the beaches. Um, ¿Por qué más es conocido? So, El Salvador is known... Is it's, it's beach. Tourist beach. Yes, the tourist beaches. So, pero sí, en varios eh? lugares... Ah, yes, El Salvador is known. The famous source city. Yes. Uh, but there are more reasons. For the president. Yes, El Salvador is known because of Nayib Bukele. I have to agree. Es cierto, like, that's super, super right. Mm, any other reason? Any other reason? Por la seguridad. Be probably, yes. Yeah. So El Salvador is known for the safety of the country. Uh, El Salvador is known for the traditions. Okay, okay. El Salvador is known, or le digamos la N, but nice. It's not because of the beaches. It is said that it has the best beaches on the Pacific Coast. Very good. I like it. Nice. Game of Thrones is watched by a lot of people. Oh, okay. Yes, I really like Game of Thrones. It's a really nice program. Sweden is 
su Game of Thrones. No sé si han visto Guy Suits, la serie. So, también es como okay. bien famosa now. Have you ever seen Suit? Mm. ¿Ya tiene visto Suit, no. guys? No? Yes, it's very nice. No. Okay, so Game of Thrones is watched by a lot of people. Suits, it is also watched by a lot of people. So, es que ahorita como el boom, right? Eh, o al menos fue hace un par de meses. So, that is called Suits. En español. It's, it's, it's a very nice Breaking Bad. Ah, Breaking Bad. So Breaking it's, Bad. It's very nice. Very interesting. Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad. Oh, no. Yo estoy pensando en Prison Break. <laughs> breaking it's Bad. It's, it's, it's very nice. Prison yeah. Break was great teacher, too. I liked Prison Break. What is Breaking yeah. Bad about? Breaking Bad. No, it's, it's a, a teacher, uh, okay. a, a chemical. Is, ah, okay. Is, uh, bueno, utiliza el conocimiento para hacer droga. Lo empezó a explicar bien, continue. <laughs> so, we teach. so it is about a teacher. Yeah. A a like a chemist. Yeah, like a, a chemist. Okay. He's a chemist. He's a, a drum for a uh, and 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 draw. Uh, yes. He's, he, he's, he's a, a terminal. Una enfermedad terminal. He has. He has yeah. a terminal illness. Yeah. Illness. A, illness is enfermedad. So he has a ter. Ah, oh, okay. And he creates drugs, right? Yeah. Este, oh, okay. o sea, I don't, uh, uh, I don't have money, mm -hmm. and and I want children, baby children, and mm -hmm. y, bueno, como profesor no ganaba mucho, entonces ahí ve la salida y como se va a morir. Oh, okay. It's very yeah. interesting history. No, it's so sad. <laughs> I I am a teacher too. <laughs> But I am not a chemist, so yeah, you know. <laughs> okay, so Breaking Bad. Okay, okay, guys, denme más ejemplos. ¿Qué más tienen? What else do you have? ¿Y qué programas tienen con is watched? So you must know, like Game of Thrones, Breaking Bad, mm, Ah, Stranger Things, Stranger Things. <laughs> is watched okay. yeah. by a lot of people too. Muchos ven Stranger Things. Uh, the, the Big Bang Theory is watched okay. by a lot of people. Okay, so the Big Bang Theory is watched by a lot of people, all right. Guys, acaba de terminar La Reina del Sur, so La Reina del Sur is watched it's still by a lot of people. <laughs> So I agree on that. Yes, the Queen of the South Mexican series is watched by many people. Yes, Griselda, I agree. Did you watch it? La vio Griselda? Did you watch it? Uh, me faltan algunos capítulos, teacher. Me, yo ya la terminé en YouTube. <laughs> okay, but no le doy el spoiler, so, but, but. Pero me quedé esperando, you know. I agree. The Queen of the South is watched by a lot of people. Okay. Guys, ¿tienen ejemplos con um, it is said that? Se dice que. Es más como para información general, noticias. Eh, yo le llamo gossip porque no es algo seguro. So, uh, ¿tiene algún ejemplo con it is said that? Se dice que. Or with the first one, Alibaba, Shane, Amazon. Do you have more examples with that?
¿Vale? Eh, teacher, yo tengo esta que se dice que, ella, que él es inteligente, pero no sabía bien cómo es que se redactaba. Miss, lo hizo súper bien. It is said that he's intelligent. Yes. Así está bien. Yes. Ah, bueno, gracias. Exactly. Uh, I mean, porque es información no verás. Entonces, it is said that es como se dice que dicen que. Exactly. It is said that he is intelligent. Dicen que ah. él es celoso. It is said that um, he is aggressive. He is jealous. So, yes, that is right. Lot of the skies, a uh, Mexican series. Okay, Jorge, sounds good. So, pero agrégame el resto, like, la ven, se usa, or uh, what is the idea? Or it is said that. Yeah. Or se dice que, uh -huh. I, like, I like the love of the sky, Esther. Ah, and the okay. Finnish tempera. It's, it's a new. The season. The season. It's How many season. seasons are there? Yes, Four. Uh, How many? ¿Cuántas hay? How many? Uh, One, nine? two, nine. nine. Yeah, oh it's the finish. Nine. Oh my it's goodness. A, uh, it's a watch in Telemundo, USA. Wow. Have you watched all of them? ¿Las han visto todas? Like all of them? <laughs> <laughs> Repeat that too. Uh, yeah. No, uh, eight, no, no, no much, uh, 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 porque sacaron al personaje. Yeah. Yeah. Bad, oh, yeah. Yo regreso con todo. Yeah, con uh, oh, wow, qué compromiso, Mira, guys. I'm super, <laughs> I'm super excited porque se han logrado estar en ocho temporadas, it means that van a terminar los avanzados de inglés. Yeah. I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm super glad. Okay, so um, the Lord of the Skies, um, I think the idea was like, the Lord of the Skies is watched, right, by a lot of people. All right, guys, so si tienen más, los pueden dejar, uh, you can leave them, uh, you can leave them in the chat, los reviso, I can check them for you. Si tienen dudas, igual déjenlos en el chat y lo confirmamos sin ningún problema. All right, guys, vamos a completar un ejercicio más, we're going to complete just one more con los verbos que tenemos acá. So tenemos, eh, vamos a hacer exactamente lo mismo. Eh, remember, siempre usamos el verbo to be, so am, is, or are, más el pasado participio del verbo. Eh, ¿Cómo voy a buscar el pasado participio? Well, eh, let me see. Ya tenemos los de algunos, así que va a ser un poco más fácil. It's going to be a little bit easier. So rate, acabamos de practicarlo. Si no se recuerdan, vayan a la conversación en la página de arriba. Y ahí lo tiene. You have it there. So no, acabamos de practicar no. Solamente vamos a agregar un par de letritas. Tenemos otra vez rate. So busquemos el verbo please. Considered, ya lo tenemos acá. We have perceive. So a esto de acá. Les voy a ayudar un poco, guys. Eh, mientras no llegamos a este tema, le vamos a agregar una D. Or, en otras palabras, a D, right? So, le agregamos una D, a perceive. And sí, con este sí necesito su ayuda, porque este va a cambiar. So, tenemos sí, el pasado y el pasado participio son diferentes. Guys, really quick. Um, habrá internet, uh, habrá un navegador. And tell me, what is the past of C? ¿Cuál es el pasado del verbo ver? What is the past of C? Si no lo pueden leer, deletréenmelo. Spell it for me, please. Eh, is uh -huh. eh, pasado, sería. Yes, please. The past. Is, is a W. Ok. But no vamos a usar el pasado, dijimos. Vamos a usar el pasado participio. Yeah, yeah. Entonces, el siguiente, please. The next one. Sí, es, so. Uh -huh. S-E-E-N. 
Very good. Entonces, ahorita, sí. right now, el que usamos es el tercero, porque quiero decir, okay. es visto, como lo que acabamos de hacer con, eh, is watched. Solo que para esto utilizo is seen. Y el verbo to be siempre va. Let's take a look at the examples. Our company is considered. So nuestra empresa es considerada. Our company is considered the best manufacturing manufacturer or of rooms in the country. Our product. ¿Cómo voy a saber si le voy a agregar is or are? Recordemos que tenemos singulares plurales. En la S me da una idea cuando um, the word we are using is plural. So, let me take a look here. Guys, ayúdenme con la número dos. Help us, please, with number two. Our products is or are. 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 Are rated. Okay. okay, so our products are. Exactly, rated or rated, very nice. Rated. There we go. Then, para la siguiente, solo a percibible agregamos la de. Okay, our customer service agents is or are? Are. Are, porque tenemos agents. Estamos hablando de varios. So, are, perceive, y le voy a agregar la de. So, our customer service agents son percibidos, or, yeah, so are perceived as the most efficient. Next one, guys, the brand. Um, so, la marca, la marca es vista como la líder. So, the brand is or are? Is. Is. Okay, is. Y necesito el pasado participio de sí, si, sí, si, so. Y voy a utilizar sin. The brand is sin. So, Passive Boy solamente es de ir armando. No se preocupen, no es que ahorita no se lo van a tener que memorizar. Eh, lo van a ver esporádicamente, but solamente es para que tengan una idea, right? Y podemos completar los ejercicios de la plataforma también. Number five, the company. Guys, ayúdenme con esto. Yo sé que lo pueden hacer. You can do it alone. The company. Is. The company is? It's no. No? no. Y le voy a agregar que letra. N. Yes. The company N. is known. Very good. La compañía es conocida. Yes. And the last one. Are vegetables? Are. 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 Read. Read. Perfect. There we go. Exactly. And that's it. Pero en match, eso es el uso de Passive Voice en el video number three. Y en la tarea van a encontrar ejercicios de Passive Voice. So, es exactamente esto, right? Solamente remember, esta palabra me da, si lleva una S, por lo general son plurales, right? Our products, uh, plural, are. The brand, no le veo S, singular, is. So, the brand is seen. The company is known. Our vegetables are rated. So, nuestros vegetales son considerados o están en el ranking, right? De los menos contaminados. And that's pretty much it. Um, preguntas? Do you have any question? Any doubt? Sé que es bastante, and es un tema un poco, you know, no común, es totalmente nuevo. I'm sure about that. But no worries. Por el momento no nos vamos a complicar y por eso les decía, no nos vamos a meter mucho en gramática. Lo van a ver en intermedios, pero ahorita solo es para que tengamos una idea. Si alguna vez ven esto, eh, ¿a qué se refiere? Right? What it is about. So no nos vamos a um, get into that too much. Ok, guys. So... If you want to, si tienen el material en sus manos, le pueden tomar nota, pueden tomar una captura too. In case you want to practice, uh, because van a utilizar esto for the platform. Ok. Nada. No, guys, tenemos un par de minutitos. Um, so, se los voy a robar para que podamos practicar los pasados. So we can just check really quick los cinco verbos que les pedí el día de ayer que practicaran. 
eh, les pedí, let me check, los verbos que están en la lista. So, they were, let me just get it. Miss. Yes. What did you say? Eh, eh, el tercero, bowl, bowling. O oh, will. ¿Cómo se dice? Oh, built. Bill. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bill, that's right. Bill. Y el otro, es, el último es come. come. Uh, ahorita, dame un segundo. Solo déjenme ver en qué orden está. Just to make sure. Ok, um, let me read it. Eh, vamos practicando, guys. Repitan conmigo. B was where been. B was where been. Break, broke, broken. Break, broke, broken. Build, built, built. Build, 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 build. Buy, bought, bought. Buy, bought, bought, bought. Come, came, come. Come, came, come. Oh. Okay, very good. So, uh, comencemos con break. So, break, what is the past? Break. El pasado. Broke. Broke. Okay, broke. Broke. Okay, broke. Okay, broke. Eh, ahorita vamos a utilizar solo <laughs> los que están en el azulito, solo los donde dice past. Um, no le pongan atención a los de past participle, ahorita no. So, guys, um, recuérdense que han quebrado en toda su vida. What did you break? Broke. Ajá, uh -huh. so, siempre es como I broke. ¿Qué quebraron, okay. guys? What did you break? La dieta. <laughs> no, le, algo más literal. <laughs> okay. Uh, I broke my uh, the table. Okay, table. I broke a table. And a glass. Glass. A a glass. Um, a cup. He quebrado a la cup. Dieta. Okay. Cell Aunque phone. break is más para literal. Ah, okay. A cell phone. All right. Phone. So uh -huh. A table, table. A cell phone. A cup. Yes. The window. Okay. I'm sorry, Luis. I broke the window. Ah, the window. Okay, so you broke the window. A pencil, yes. Okay, there you go. There you go. What about buy? What is the past of buy? Buy. Buy, like comprar. Buy. Bought. Bought. Okay. Guys, Bought. ¿qué, ¿qué compraron esta semana? What did you buy this week? My what did you buy? Okay, armemos la oración completa. I bought. I bought my lunch. Okay, so you bought your lunch. Okay. I bought my shoes. Oh, nice. Okay, so ah, you will pay, all right? <laughs> so you bought lunch. You bought some shoes. What did you buy, guys? ¿Qué compraron? I Lisa, bought that, what my did you cell buy? phone. Oh, a new cell phone. Nice. Yvette, what did you buy? I... I bought cookies. Cookies, all right. Good. What did you buy, guys? Today I bought a Panda Express for lunch. Yes. No había nada más. There was nothing else. <laughs> and I didn't want to cook. So, what about come? Usamos el verbo come para hablar de venir. Eh, for example, estoy en mi casa. En com se refiere a mi casa. Exactly. Si ustedes están, por ejemplo, en la calle, com es al lugar donde están ahorita. So, um, today, para decir yo vine, right? I can say I came. Actually, yo vine temprano a mi casa. I came early today. What about you guys? ¿A qué horas you, okay, you got late, all right. At seven o'clock. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was late. Guys, okay, so the mask. What about the rest? I Podemos decir? Mm -hmm. my house because I went to the gym. Ah, very good. That sounds good. 
puedo decir también la hora, right? Yo vine a las seis. I came at six. I came at seven. I came at eight. ¿A qué horas llegaron? What time did you get to your house? No han llegado. <laughs> oh, por cierto, eh, Carla ya está en su casa. Are you at home? Yes, teacher. I come my house nine twenty uh, twenty-five. Wow, nine twenty, nine twenty-five. Wow, that was really late. Okay, very nice. Good job. Trabaja mañana? Are you working tomorrow? Mm, no. Oh, okay. Good, good, good. So you can rest. Okay, guys. Exactly. So if you check. Los pasados son súper facilitos, pero le, el detalle es memorizárselos. Guys, les pido que para el lunes o el primero tenemos la plataforma. Eh, please, avancemos con la plataforma, eh, ya que la revisión es esta semana, de las unidades 1 y la unidad número 2 también. Eh, si pueden avanzar y terminarla, no hay ningún problema. No se sientan eh, cohibidos en ese sentido, right? Pueden avanzar as much as you want. Eh, con los verbos les voy a pedir que intentemos eh, aprendernos bien los cinco y si pueden avanzar con los siguientes cinco, that would be nice. So tienen do, dream, drink, drive, and eat. So váyanse tomando, eh, como decía el compañero, cinco todos los días, uh, pero bien aprendidos, right? No les va a tomar más de quizás cinco o diez minutos eh, aparte de la clase para que Ustedes también vayan considerando su vocabulario. Um, les voy a tomar asistencia, guys, para que ya se puedan ir a descansar, you know, and guys, just give me one second. Me regalan eh, siempre la confirmación verbal y me ayudan con su camarita, please. Sir, I got eh, Camilo. Present me. Gracias. David. David, no está. Deborah, uh -huh. Deborah is there. I am here, teacher. This is I have to with my tech, with my tablet, but maybe Monday I'm going to fix it. Mm, okay, perfect, perfect. Eh, si es con la cámara, mm, funciona bastante actualizar la aplicación, porque mi cámara estaba bien rara. Es que but... no, no, no me deja actualizar la, eh, la aplicación. Oh. Voy, a, voy a ver si cambio la la cuenta de, de, de la de la Play Store. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. O tal vez elimínela and try to o o download it again. <ríe> Sería lo mejor, ¿verdad? Right? <ríe> okay. Uh, so Edwin va hasta acá. Elvina. Uh, so I have Lupita. Lupita estaba acá hace un momento. Okay. Eric. Here. Eric, too. Here, Thank you. Here. Abigail. Present teacher. Gracias, Miss. Griselda. Griselda Present teacher. Thank you. Isaías. Present. Gracias. Yvette. Present teacher. Thank you. Javier. Sí, Javier estaba ahí. Eh, Jorge López. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Eduardo. Present teacher. Gracias. Carla. Present teacher. Gracias, Miss. Eh, Luis Alberto. Ok. Luis Enrique. Present, Miss. Gracias. Manuel Antonio. Here, Miss. Thank you so much. Vanessa Victoria. Present, Miss. Thank you. Wendy. Uh, Wendy, creo que la vi there. And Suleima. And she was working. Ok, guys. So thanks a lot for your time. Eh, please, avancemos con la plataforma and don't forget the verbs. Que tengan un excelente fin de semana. And si van a descansar, rest a lot. Bye, everybody. Have a good night. Good night. See you Monday. Bye, teacher. Bye, Bye. Teacher. Bye guys. Bye -bye. See you on Bye -bye. Monday. Bye.
Bye, Jose. See you on Monday. Bye, teacher. Con todo el lunes, Jose. Le voy a preguntar mucho. <laughs> bye, yes, sir. Have a good one. Descanse. Bye, bye. Bye. bye.